Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Astro Pill. Thanks for tuning in. My name's Dana, and I just got a helmet off of my head. It was quite the ordeal, but I looked damn cool in it. Don't you agree? Welcome back to Valhalla. Here we go. How did you get the helmet off? Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Whoever owns that helmet made sure to use it as, use it to the point of voiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure. Now take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again. Right. Uh, yes, it's open! Great! Whoever this is, welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hi! Good evening. Um, what kind of place is this? Did I step into some kind of afterlife? Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sort of? Kinda? Yeah? Well, this is a bar. A bar? Nice, nice. What can I get you? I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? What do you normally enjoy? I like tea. That's not something I can work with. What about flavors? Bitter, but not too bitter? Sorry if it's too confusing. Something bitter, but not too much? Maybe something bitter and girly? Let me see what I can get you. Something like tea, or something not so bitter. Maybe girly and bitter? Okay, here we go. So bitter and girly. So the bitter and girly, uh, I'm gonna, sorry, I don't know if it'll get me through all the bitter ones if I do this. Bitter manly burning. See, that one's not bitter anymore. I wish it would just cycle me through it. Gut punch, bitter manly strong. I have to do this. Bitter manly burning. I am pretty sure the first one was the only one that was the girly kind, but just double checking. Okay, great. So this one's easy. Narrowed it down for me. All right, um, something light. So let's not double up on it unless it automatically does, which I don't think it does and some are optional. Let's put in like two. I think that's good, right? That should be okay. Use on the rocks and blended, okay? I think that should be, I don't know how much to put in here, honestly. Is there, there's probably a guide to that, I'm sure. Great, here you go. Try this. Yep, this'll do just fine, thanks. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, miss? I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. Are you a magical girl? Is that what you are? I'm, oh, it's Miki. It's Miki. Maybe I should give her a stronger voice. This is the singer. Let me think, what kind of voice would Miki have? I don't know. I feel like my usual energetic voice would fit her really well, but maybe a breathy voice. Maybe she has a breathy speaking voice, but when she sings, it's very powerful. Who knows? I'll stick with the breathier voice for now. I'm Kira Miki. So, should I call you Miss Miki or Miss Kira? Uh, no, you're not getting it. I'm just Kira Miki. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira and you say Miki, okay? Okay. Kira? Uh, Miki. No, 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 no. Put more spirit into it. Kira? Uh, Miki. Almost there. Kira, uh, I feel like she has a more energetic voice, but I, I always have like the same energetic voice. Um. I'll, I'll just try try one. Kira, Miki. Kira, Miki. Kira, Mi Miki. <laughs> kill, 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 <laughs> kill, you're such a creeper. Don't do that. Oh my God. Kira, Miki. <laughs> That's it. Are you feeling it? Kira, Miki. <laughs> And don't you ever forget it! Uh, what the hell am I doing out here? Um, where were we, Jamie? Right, I was telling you. Wow, you're good. Thank you. It's nice to know I still have it. Especially since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? Wait, you're the Lilum that's putting on a concert tonight? Okay, Lilum kind of android. Lilum kind of android. Specific models, they're all different. She's not the same as the other one we just saw earlier. Okay. I'm one Lilum who is putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilum you're looking for. And what are you doing all the way out down here? Well, they were making last preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. My producer is always obnoxious while that's going on, so I just decided to leave. 
I saw one of the concert's posters outside and decided to check this place. Just that? Isn't that a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. I see. How big is the concert? We planned for a bit over 100,000 people and sold out fast. So we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal, and that's nice. Over 100,000 is not many? Then what exactly is? Hold on, then based on your little demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Miki, right? You don't get it! Let's start from the top. I'll just call you Miss Idol then. Oh, I like that. Hey, do you have anything soft? Soft? As in alcohol-free? No, I meant soft and as in soft, don't you get it? Soft? Let's see what I can get you. Something soft. Wonder if she means alcohol-free or something else. Uh, mmm. Uh, what does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, what, what is this? What is this? Where do I drag this? Bottles, what is that? What is it? I don't, I don't know, a, with perfume and a plum. I'm not gonna, I don't know what that is yet, so I'm not gonna try it. Classic something soft? Soft. Sweet, light, and fruity. That sounds soft to me. Um, sweet, girly, happy. Sweet, soft, soft, soft is in here. Okay, blue fairy. Um, sweet, girly, happy. Oh, uh, sorry, I think I just clicked on that. Sweet, classy, happy. Okay, well that literally has the word soft in it, so I am going for it. Um, optional Karmatrine, so maybe I don't have to put any in. Maybe she'd like that. Because Karmatrine adds the alcohol content, right? A, 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 like extra alcohol content, I suppose. Uh, okay, one Flannergind and optional Karmatrine age. So I'm not gonna put in any and let's try it out. What, do you like this? Try this. Yeah, this'll do it, thanks. Hey, have you considered being more theatrical when mixing drinks? Uh? Yeah, you know, like spinning bottles and lighting drinks on fire, that kind of stuff. When I was in college, I tried going to a party once. The bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped his hand. Those kinds of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of actually making the drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know. I'll keep it in mind. Hmm. Hey, is this glass important? Are you about to break it? Don't break it, look. It's go she's gonna dock my pay, please. Don't cause me any trouble. Depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, oh, I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with that. Oh, sure, I guess. No guessing. Are you sure or not? Yeah, do as you please. Okay then, who should I make it out to? Maybe for my boss? I wonder if Gil would like it though. Your name, girl? Oh, for Jill then. For Jill, never lose your star from Kira Miki. Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Dude, I gotta work on mine. I mean, not autograph, but signature. Um, you know, I have a signature for my regular name and it just, it's not interesting at all. But when people ask me to sign prints, which bless your heart, thank you so much. You're so sweet if you ask me. I, I wanna make it really cool. My, my only idea is that when I write Axis, I want the A to look like a big star, but I don't know what to do with the rest. Paper is the one who is super good with text. She's really good at like text and design. She's awesome at that. She's got like a cool signature. I wanna work on mine. Let's, I don't know, maybe I'll try a couple of different things out. Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks. No, thank you. I'm guessing with someone with as many fans as you as their fair share of stalkers, right? Jill, that is a very uncomfortable subject to suddenly hop on. Don't don't bring that up with a pop idol. She came here to relax, not think about her stalkers and traumatic moments. Well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot too, but they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. I see. They're also very organized. They'd make pretty good soldiers. The others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. 
Stalkers are nice when you get used to them. I remember once one once protected me from being mugged. There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but <laughs> that is oh, that's terrible. That no, that that's terrible. No, Miki, Miki, you you got no. Okay. You need to put your foot down. You need to get these people evicted. You need to put a restraining order. No matter how delicious or amazing that breakfast is, that is not okay. And she fails to see the problem. I just wish they'd leave my underwear drawer the same way they find it. Yeah, that's going to be an even extra bigger problem. And I don't think you should be okay with that. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know. I take pride in my old liquor collection. Uh, I guess it's the same. No, no, two very different things. Someone breaking your house, mess with your liquor. Yeah, okay, if you're really into the collection, you're gonna get upset about that. But somebody breaking your house, mess with underwear, you need to call police. Either way, if someone breaks your house, you need to call police, but this is like extra bad. No, wait, it isn't. Good, good, Jill, good. Yeah, you get me, Jill. <laughs> okay, one more drink before I go. By now, the stage should be all organized, so the fallout should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make my concerts that go from night till dawn. In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned and the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come up just as I reach the climax of that song. Wow, that's very interesting. You're, you're a very fascinating person. I'd be depressed if they asked for your love as a drug as an encore, though. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel their tickets were worth the ridiculous price, you know? Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. It tasted like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Uh, let's see what I can find for you. She wants something bitter. Maybe to sober up a bit. I think one of them said sober, right? Did it... I think I... Okay, so we've, we've gone through these quite a bit by now, but I feel like one of them said sober. So let me check. Now I know for sure this is the only one that doesn't... It's the, the girly soft kind, and all the rest are more manly. So let's see. Bitter manly burning. Something said sobering, didn't it? Is that... Am I going crazy? Uh, maybe to sober up a bit. Oh, what's a good choice here? Um, tastes like old chocolate milk, bitter girly soft. Which one's a good one? Bitter promo bland. This one's kind of unbearable. It's mostly for fans of the movie. It was used in small twist on the pile driver, putting more emphasis on the tongue burning and less on the throat burning. Well, I don't know if we want to burn her throat. She's a singer. She's about to go into a concert. Doesn't burn as, as hard on the tongue, but you better not have a sore throat when drinking it. Ooh, I don't know which one to pick. Um, she wants something bitter maybe to sober up a bit. So sober up as in it shouldn't have a lot of alcohol content. So this might be an option. Okay, optional karma train, um, optional karma train. Maybe they all have optional karma train. Four, okay, we don't want that. Three, we don't want that. And uh, one karma train, we don't want that. So let's, I'm gonna go by this. So either sunshine or gut punch. Bitter, manly and strong. Uh, all ancient mixed. Let's see. The name actually describes what you feel while drinking it. Well, that sounds like something that would wake you up. It's strong. It wakes you up. And this one sounds like it might relax you a little bit. So let's go with the gut punch. <laughs> Do you guys like my logic here? I hope it works. Um, and we don't want it to be too alcoholic, I think. Yeah, this seems okay. Two, three, four, five. Uh, aged and mixed. Let's just try it out. Do you think that'd be okay? Try this. Yeah, this works. So how is it? It could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. Okay, so maybe she wanted the, the sunshine cloud. Ah, dang it, well, I already messed up, so. I figured it was for, I figured it was for waking you up or something, so. Really nice, thanks. I hope you aren't offended by this question, but, hmm? I can see that you enjoy what you do, but how much of, how much of it is about the music? I'll let you know that before becoming Kiramiki, I was a very accomplished pianist. I had concerts every week and part-timed in bars with, with a jazz band. I still write and compose my own songs. Whoa, why the change? Going from jazz and piano to idol? 
Have you ever thought about the power music has over people? You could argue it's just noise, but it can make you feel a wide range of emotions. I agree. And that power is universal. It can transcend language and culture. Being in a jazz band or performing recitals, I can only take that power to so many people. But being an idol, I can take that power and spread it far and wide. Kids and adults, men and women, they all have access to my music and I can reach every one of them. Wow. What music do you like, Jill? I'm not picky, but I do prefer versions with no lyrics. Why? I like to listen to music while working and lyrics distract me. And besides, it always bothers me when people nonchalantly start singing songs with creepy lyrics. I think only half of the listeners actually care about what's being said. Oh, that's a bummer. I'd give you a copy of my latest CD, but I don't have any at the moment. Oh, uh, that'd be great if we could start playing it, like in the bar, that'd be great. Don't worry about it. Okay then, I'm out. Thanks for helping me pass the time, Jill. Sure. Please come again. I'll make sure of it. Will she be all right? Yeah, she'll be fine. You think she'll come back? Usually I'd say no, but honestly, I don't know. Boss, we're done. All right. You feel like going to that girl's concert? Nah, I don't think so. I don't have any tickets anyway. Hey boss, does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Why, that was my moniker during my wrestling days. You're, huh? That's what they called me during my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads. Any reason for being red specifically? You're all white. I would think the white comet would be more fitting. That way I was three times faster. How'd you find that out? Do you like wrestling? A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Uh, I see. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. In any case, Gil's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and uh, boss, don't cram anything on your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> boss is like a big child, but also mature at the same time. I like her a lot. Okay, let's see. Good thing we didn't make mistakes, but I feel like maybe we could have been better with that last drink. Grab a snack on the way home. It's on me. I'll thank you for the $300 for a single snack. Okay. I mean, that looks good to me. Flawless service bonus. That looks good to me. Okay. I, I, I want to be, I want to get everything like absolutely perfect. But again, that seems like one of those moments because Jill mentioned, she's like, oh, sorry that you wanted something sweeter. I figured you needed something to wake you up. So that's why we wanted to, we thought that that was what she needed, but she maybe preferred something else. Sometimes maybe we know better than the client themselves what they might need. It might've been one of those situations. Not sure. We'll probably have a lot more of those. It's probably going to get a lot tougher in the future. I don't doubt it. Okay. So... Uh, what date? So it's the 15th, I'm assuming. So, uh, I'm not sure which it is. It's probably 1215, right? Not 1512. You know, depends what country we're in, but I have no idea. So as long as we have $800 by then, we'll be okay. Jill is humming Your Love is a Drug. Oh, by Miki. Buying the song will prevent her from getting too distracted. Oh, but Miki offered us a free CD. You can now browse Kira Miki's blog. Great. Here, let's go shopping. I'm, I'm down. Um, Kira Miki poster. Kira Miki banner. Wait, where's the song? Uh, Your Love is a Drug. Here we go. Wait, a magazine with all things idols has a download code for Your Love is a Drug. Perfect. Uh, ooh, double click to buy it. Done. All right, let's go back. I don't want to needlessly buy things. I would love to, but um, who knows what else we need our money for, huh? Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I missed it. Damn it. Oh, well. Uh, welcome. I wonder if we're ever going to change our wallpaper. Okay. Alice Rabbit Thread 2. <laughs> I like that face. Electric Boogaloo. Stop forcing Alice. So we hate Alice now? Good. It's just that we haven't heard any news yet. Remember that time they posted here to announce an attack? Oh, well, yeah. And I remember the cybercrime unit up the admin's ass. I can't read that very easily. Uh, December 17th will come. The second retribution birthday is coming. That font. Yeah, I know. I couldn't read it. Oh, boy. Spooky font. It's happening. Okay. Mikis. Well, now we've met her. That's nice. And the last thread. No crap posting allowed. That doesn't work as well. It's it's, it's obviously the, that phrase. I'll, I'll, I'll allow some cursing sometimes if the situation really calls for it. Did that one Anon left? I think so. 
I never left. I was just lurking to not cause any trouble. Don't worry, we're here for you. Any ideas for the great revelation? Do you know if you like her yet? Look, I don't want to ruin our friendship. We know each other since we were very young. Your grammar's a little funny. So she's your childhood friend? It's like one of my Japanese animes. Yeah. Okay, so this is what you have to do. When Miki ends singing Lovers in Paradise, you kiss her. Okay, so now we have a bit more context. Um, So this is a childhood friend of Miki's, or it could be a delusional fan. We don't know yet, but we're going to take it at face value. This is a childhood fan who doesn't quite know if they like her or not. And they're... they're talking about it and people trying to encourage her to confess but at the same time what if these other people are rabid fans you know how i like kind of fans in in stereotypical media they like agree to share the person and yeah you know i, I we don't really know what the situation is K -k kiss of course just try to imagine how magical that moment would be with the fireworks and the epic guitar solo uh, i will think about it this thread is closed in the last thread, Anon hates fun. I don't want fights. You people are so immature. What's wrong with being a guy endangered you? Why do you care if we assume you're a girl anyway? Screw off. Dudes, endanger. <laughs> Let's go back to the concert, please. 227X and you stupid idiots still care about petty crap like this. He started everything by mentioning he is a guy. Sigh. Anyway, we should gather somewhere to take the train to the stadium together. Not a bad idea. We can make an official danger. You Sorry, I, I I know this is a parody on a real forum, but I don't traverse that real forum, so I actually don't know how to say it. If you want to correct me and tell me how to vocally say it, please do. An official danger, you meet up. Like, I'd want to be seen with a bunch of ugly girls in front of my friends. Okay, next thread, I'm going to moderate the heck out of this. No more crap posting. Okay. We're gonna just finish off looking through our phone before we end this episode. Neo San Francisco, just like Neo, what is it in Big Hero 6? Neo Francisco, Neo Sokyo, Neo Francisco, whichever. Neo San Francisco rocked by an earthquake, I'm assuming. Neo San Francisco rocked by a powerful earthquake. Millions saved. I wanna know who, um, who comprises of all of these, cause, excuse me, we've met one of the interns. Um, she probably comprises one of these. A powerful 8.6 mag magnitude tremor has struck the area of Neo San Francisco. Fortunately, modern science was able to identify the quake almost an hour in advance, providing the city plenty of time to prepare for the worst. During a conference call, Glitch City's Prime Minister, Quincy, congratulated the rescue teams at S Neo SF for its rapid response in the wake of the warnings. Are we in Neo SF? Is that where we are right now? They're an example to follow, and we're certainly looking forward to implement these advancements in earthquake prediction here in our beautiful city. Glitch City is not currently known to be a seismic zone. Oh, okay. We're in Glitch City, not Neo SF. Okay. Wow, look at how they write this. Uh, da Dawson, Donovan, Dawson. Kira Miki confirmed as the best pop star in history. Woo! I, I guess I'll read this in Donovan's voice. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. She's the best. Like, she had to be handcrafted to be this perfect. Holy moly. Oh, it's it, this must be by the, the fan that he quote-unquote cock-blocked, and he's letting him write the article. But I'm still going to read it as Donovan, because I think it'd be funnier that way. She's the top tier everything, and I'm baffled as to how there are still people out there hoping to be as awesome and hot and great. They can't. It's impossible for a human to top such an achievement. I, for one, welcome our new Roboco Overlord. <laughs> good. 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 <laughs> oh, hello there. Interview Gloria of Light and her quest for a Tino Award. The augmented eye in today's interview segment, we sit with Tino Award nominee Gloria Light. It's an honor to be here with you. It, it's my pleasure. What was... Wait. Tell us everything. What was... Vo Content blocked in your region. What was your, what was her what? What was her what? We will never know. How, can we go through a proxy? Can we go through a proxy? I need to know what this is. I need to know what's going on with Gloria Light. She looks like my new top idol. Damn it, well next time I guess. Let's go ahead and save. Oopsie. Uh, music? I, I'm, I'm down for what's playing right now. So we added, a, dude, we added a new app. You look, you look past. That's my cat voice. It's a local page. Kiramiki. Oh, cool. Uh, what, what, ooh. Okay, let's read this in her voice. Thanks, GC. 
Oh, I love this place. So much energy. Uh, again, I feel like she would have a more energetic voice, but maybe the soft voice fits. Just a soft voice, but energetic. So much energy, so much love. I could feel the optimism in the air. Even after all the struggles, you still came to see me and I got to experience the loudest and craziest crowd in my whole career. I'm beyond speechless. That said, I'm excited to announce that we'll have a second date in the city. It wasn't easy to set up, but I'm so happy my agency approved. Approved it. This was by far our biggest show, and I can't wait to experience it again. See you soon, my darlings. Love, Miki. Dome concert! Hi everyone! Are you ready for the dome concert? I sure am! I perform in a rather large number of concerts every year, and even then I can't help but be excited every time I have one around the corner. And it's all thanks to you! Thanks to your energy and love surrounding my life in every aspect. I'm gonna perform all of your favorite songs, so please be excited! Just one little request. Please don't wait for me outside the stadium or my bodyguards will get angry at you! I wouldn't like to see you hurt, so please don't do it, okay? <laughs> What I do to relax. It's been very hectic as of late, so I'd like to share with you what I do to relax. Sitting on rooftops. I'm on the road most of the time, so I don't have a specific rooftop to relax on. I like to feel the breeze and see a beautiful vista. It makes me think about life. Tea cocktails. Oh, this is something I can't live without. Mixing tea with vodka, rum, gin, lime. You name any tasty and natural combination and I'll be all over it. I'm very careful about getting tipsy before our show, though. I wouldn't like to ruin your evening. <laughs> well, I don't know. You had a lot of alcohol while you were here, but I guess we didn't give you stuff that was too powerful. Great. Okay, um, I think that is everything. So that's what she meant by a tea-like drink. Ah, okay. Cool, great. I hope I haven't been missing too many uh, reactions by Jill. Okay, so um, we are gonna, wow, oops. We are a bit over time, but I wanted to get through everything. So it'd be nice and neat. So we'll just start the next episode with the next day. All right, join me then. Zaxxas, over and out.